generally uh, in Cradle of Filth history, it's been two, two and a half years between each album, which isn't a great deal of time. Some people take, you know, as, as you well know, take up to five, six years, you know, between each album. And, so, and obviously you, you want to try and improve upon the last one or at least make it as different as you can um, and have its own identity. And um, that in itself is, is, is pretty hard work. Because you've got to have, I'm sitting here and I've got to talk about it for a start. That's just one thing without, you know, that's before the, the, the floodgates open and all the fans buy it and the critique come in, comes in and, and they're more critical than any journalists because, you know, um, well, fans are, as it goes without saying, I'm not going to, we haven't got time to go into the ends of that. But, um, yeah, you've got to have something to talk about it's got to have something that people can sink their teeth into because, you know, it's like me talking about my love of soundtracks. You know, these, these, these albums will be with me until the day I die. And uh, there's reasons why I love them. And you want to give people who are your fans reason enough for them to, to, to love what you've done. So you've got to put twice as much effort in that you think you can or have to do. To, to get to that point to make anything, you know, worthy of someone's unre unrequited love.